Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create simple cooldown timers for your game. This can be used for different attacks or cooldowns for certain items or anything that you want to have a cooldown. So, first thing you want to do is um, create a variable um, for your actual cooldown. So, we'll set that to a boolean, which is false. And then what I did was um, you want to go into the script that you call for the item. So when we press H, it uh, activates our health potion. So you want to add a piece of code that says health potion cooldown equals equals false. So, but you can name it whatever cooldown you have for your attack. Then what we want to do is set health potion cooldown to true so you aren't able to call this uh, function again. And then what you want to do is call potion one cooldown, which I set as a function down here, but you can make it whatever you want. So for this one, we didn't make an infinite loop, but we just made, made it so if x is less than two, call this. And then we used a yield wait per second. So we want our cooldown to wait for five seconds before you can use the attack again and then we switch health potion cooldown to false so that will enable us to activate this again so that's pretty much how you do a basic cooldown we can go in here we can pick up our other item and then I'll keep spamming H and you see that uh, it doesn't let you use it for five more seconds. So, I mean, you can do that for attack. So after you attack, you can set up that piece of code so your player can only attack uh, every couple seconds. And you can add different variables in there to uh, make it so maybe they can upgrade how fast they can attack and different stuff like that. It's really nice to have cooldown timers. Um, and my next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to um, display it on screen. Maybe you want a uh, an icon and you want it to fade out when it's um, when it's still on cooldown, and have a l little piece of text that pops up that shows you that you know your cooldown has a couple seconds left until you can use it again. So until next time.